How's it going, Mike from Iron Horse Overland? Coming to you from a beautiful little park. It's called Soldiers Memorial Park in Kansas. And as you can see, it is pretty sweet. But anyways, this video is going to be an unboxing of, a, of our new Red Arc TVMS Prime. So I hope if that's the kind of content you like, give us a like and a subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. And we got a package today. This is something I've been looking forward to. And you can see who it's from. Yes, Red Arc Electronics. And it is our new Red Arc TVMS Prime. And the TVMS screen. So we can have functionality front and rear. Not just be able to see what's going on. I can actually do all my switching. But what this is also going to allow us to do is go completely to one system and not have to uh, have multiple systems to run all our accessories. So I think that's going to be a very, very good addition to our setup, especially considering we live full time on the road. So this will give us complete monitoring, temperature of our fridges, temperature of the inside of the vehicle for uh, for gunner um, switching for all our stuff between this and the rogue we'll have 20 20 channels 15 of which will be 10 10 amp channels and the other five are 30 or 30 amp channels it also has digital inputs so what i'll be able to do with my two bc dc uh, chargers it'll allow me to run them only when i need to run them It'll allow me between the Rogue and the, uh, <clears throat> and, and this one, it'll allow me act, I could monitor up to, uh, eight water tanks or, or fuel tanks or whatever I need. So if I ever move to a different type of vehicle and we had water tanks, there you go. I am going to eventually hook my Long Range America tank to my Red Arc. That way I don't have to look down, uh, on the left to see what's going on or to activate my my fuel transfer it'll all be through the red arc so keep uh thinking about that and uh wait for when we get it done and here's somebody that always everybody always likes to see right now we're camping in uh in south dakota I'm that's almost out of my homemade blue cheese that's homemade blue cheese and it's super good so i got the makings to make more so this is the kind of stuff that having our Battleborn batteries and our Red Arc uh, Red Vision systems, we have that in the trailer as well, that allows us to stay out a long time, allows us to eat well, allows us to power everything. Uh, I just you... went shopping, so I'm yeah. refitting everything. So it came in a nice big box, and I don't know where my knife went. Oh, there it is. It's in my pocket. Very cool knife that I got at Expo. Um, and just a disclaimer, we did pay for this. Um, it's not part of our affiliate ship. We got a discount, but uh, I still paid for it. So in the box, I, I bought the Red Vision with the, with the monitor because uh, of the functionality that's going to give me. So, comes in this box. I think they could have put a little more packing material in here for what it is. And here, here is the Red, uh, Red Arc Electronics TVMS 1280 um, with the screen. That's their Red Vision or TVMS Prime. And, uh, yeah. So, 
So, we'll see what comes in the box and how everything looks. Again, my nice old knife I got at Expo. We're posted up in uh, South Dakota right now at the uh, friend's property that we stay at when we're here getting Mike's medical appointments taken care of. It's a nice little field area. Have uh, access to the well house, so we've got power and water. So this is the Red Arc display. So it comes with uh, bubble wrap so it doesn't get uh, damaged. The screen itself. So these are your keys to uh, activate your accessories. This is how you navigate through uh, the menus. And then it comes with a long uh, RGB cord or RJ45 cord. And this is the, the way it talks to the monitor from the monitor to the manager 30 and, and so on you get a really nice how to how to guide these are pretty easy to uh to set up but if you're doing if you're installing the red vision either the rogue or the tvms prime you got to make sure and watch the instructions on how to use the configurator yeah, it's uh, doable, but you definitely would benefit from instructions. You, have, you can actually make boo-boos that would be you have not the main, helpful. The main face plate, which for some reason doesn't say Red Arc on it. Then you, you can mount these flush to, uh, to whatever you're going to mount it to, or you can have this standaway plate. I use this because what I do is... I'll put it like this, and then I'll put a, a, a ram ball mount here with double side stick tape and then hook it to a uh, ram ball mount. And it works really good that way. And then, last but not least, you have what's uh, a, um, this ends the signal. So if you're just using the, the manager 30 or with this monitor or your work using just the TVMS prime one cable goes in to whatever you're using and then this one clicks in and that's your final stop for the uh it's an end terminator so basically for the it's loop. not it's not wondering why the other part of the loop's not there right, right. so it's it's a continuous loop and if you don't have other, like mine, we'll have a plug from the, the Rogue here and a plug for the TVMS Prime here. This won't be necessary. This will go into the Rogue, and that's where it'll terminate the loop. But yes, so that's the, uh, that's the, um, Red Vision. Red Vision. Faceplate. Face, or, fa uh, monitor. All right. All right, we'll, next. we'll be back with the uh, the TV, TV Mask Prime in a second. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the unboxing of the uh, TV MS Prime or the Red Vision Brain. So comes in a, a box just like the uh, the monitor, and these are generally very well packaged. So, we pull this out, because this is what surrounds everything, if I can get it out. Ah, that's, that's interesting. There we go. So, starting this is the TVMS Prime. So this is the actual uh, 
place for all your fuses. So what this will do is here's your your in coming from the the bat the main battery hot and ground. This is your 30 amp hot and ground. This is your 10 amp hot and ground. These are your uh, RJ45 cables that communicate between the different pieces. You have a digital output that allows you to do, uh, well, you can wire something to uh, only, come. it'll turn on a light if you do X, Y, Z, then you can, you can do that through this and your, uh, and your configurator. Then you have two temperature sensors and then if you have a either a red arc inverter or a kotec sp series inverter you can plug in here plug into the back of your inverter and run your inverter off your uh your red arc you also have six water so, water or fuel tanks so in other words we're going to get rid of my little uh make it work switch bot yeah the switch bot was super cool but this is going to be a lot more convenient a lot easier this is the same system that we have um, that came with the trailer with the Patriot Camper. Um, and it has been bulletproof. I'm gonna knock on wood so I don't jinx myself, but uh, it, it has not only reacted and done everything normal that it's supposed to, but when we did have a problem with one of the little lights that shorted out, it did exactly what it was supposed to. The fuse blew, a little light showed up on the fuse box so on on top of each of these fuse holders there's a little led light and if you blow a fuse you'll get a message on the on the monitor as well as a light will pop up and above it, it and it worked perfect it did exactly what it was supposed to do blew the fuse undid the little thingy grabbed the fuse puller pulled the fuse put a new fuse in which there's room for spares down here and if you don't have spare fuses what you can also do is Right under here, there's some uh, pin switches. Those are master overrides. So if you really need that circuit and you don't have the uh, the uh, an extra fuse, you can override that 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 circuit and make it work anyways. Probably not a good idea. No, not a good idea. But that's, they but it does allow you to do that. That's how fires start. <clears throat> and then you'll also notice that everything is clearly marked. Yep, makes it easy. The, the 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 installation of these uh, pieces are very easy. Uh, I am not a 12 volt guru, and I feel comfortable that I could do this. I am going to have somebody else helping me put this in, just to make sure that uh, I don't blow nothing up. But it also comes with a full set of instructions. Yep, full set of quite a lot of instructions with color pictures. And you can also get wiring schematics for each of their products on redarcelectronics.com. And you just go to the the uh, to the uh, product that you purchased, and then you just go down the line, and you'll see, like on this bundle that I have. Um, it has one for the screen and it has one for the manager 30 and it has one for uh, the TVMS Prime or the TVMS 1280. Pretty cool. All right, well, I, I went with Red Arc because I've been running Red Arc for about four or five years. I started off with the Red Arc BC DC 1225. The reason I picked the Red Arc is I looked at several others and they're all good products, but when I looked at the Red Arc, I looked at the ease of installation. I looked at uh, their customer service ratings because for me, I would spend a little bit more to get make sure I get good customer service. Secondly, thirdly, Red Arc has been doing this for 45 years. They just had their birthday. Happy birthday. Um, and from day one, They've been building electronic 12-volt uh, management systems for off-road purposes strictly. They don't make them for RVs and off-road. They don't make them for houses and off-road. Their, their intention is for these to be in off-road vehicles. Going through uh, mud, going through sand, going through dust, going through uh, corrugations. 
they test this stuff for all the harsh conditions we put our vehicles through. Well, you know, Australia. Yes. <laughs> so it, I bought the BCDC 1225 and I loved it. It did everything I needed to do. But what I couldn't, did, couldn't do at the time is have the monitoring behind it or the switching. Um, and now we will. And now we're going to have the total package. Um, it is a great product. It is a great company. And check it out. You won't go wrong. Thank you. Bye, everybody.